The JN Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge of today isn't here by chance. In the early 1940s, J. Norwood Darling, for whom the refuge is now named, was instrumental in the effort to block the sale of environmentally valuable land to developers. Ultimately, at his urging, President Harry S. Truman signed an executive order creating this refuge in 1945. In 1982, the Ding Darling Wildlife Society Friends of the Refuge began. Its purpose was to educate visitors about the importance of protecting lands, waters, and wildlife. In 1999, this group of volunteers stepped up to lead the building of the Refuge's Visitor and Education Center. This was the first partnership of its kind, where a friends group raised money to construct a federal building. And it is still the hub of the refuge today. Why was this necessary? And what is the society's role today? Well, over the decades, the refuge budget has been cut 60%, and it has half the staff it formerly did. Meanwhile, visitors have increased 66% to nearly 1 million people annually. The refuge cannot meet their growing needs alone. So the Ding Darling Wildlife Society works to fill in the gaps where federal funding falls short. Most importantly, the refuge keeps Ding Darling spirit alive by educating generation after generation about the importance of conservation. So visitors from around the world will take that knowledge back to the communities where they live. Today, with the help of generous donors, the society supports the refuge in these primary areas. Land acquisition and restoration. Advocacy. Conservation education wildlife protection, biology and water quality research, and internships. What really draws people to Sanibel and the core objective of people is to come and enjoy the JN Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge. I think Ding Darling would, would just be ecstatic over the fact that, that there are people that are carrying on his legacy. Uh, I mean, he obviously gave from his pocketbook, gave from his heart, but he would be ever so gratified to know that that legacy that he started continues today. The best legacies are not what you do for yourself today, but what you do for the next generation. I wanted to be at the refuge because there were things that I could do here. Every time I come to volunteer, I see the important work of, of that's being done by the Dean Darling Wildlife Society. I see the smile on children's faces and families who are enjoying nature and wildlife. It is so wonderful, it really is, to know that all of this work will be protected for the next generation because of the work that the society has accomplished. Because if we don't do it, who will? Who will do it? To that end, the Ding Darling Wildlife Society is dedicated to ensuring that Ding's legacy lives on at the JN Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge. We invite you to join us and our thousands of members in supporting the refuge for generations to come.